Clayton, are you feeling energized? I am. Well, then you don't have to watch the segment, I guess. Daylight Saving Time, no, make sure you watch it. Daylight Saving Time has come to an end, and if the time change has you feeling a little out of whack, you're not alone. Studies show even falling back an hour, which we usually love, can cause a little bit of sleepiness. So here with some solutions to help boost your energy is Bakar Takteshian, editor at large of Shape Magazine. I messed up your first name. How did that happen? <laughs> we practiced the last name and you messed up the first. What's it's wrong? okay. <laughs> okay, so people are waking up yes. today and even though we got to have an extra hour of sleep, it still is a little crazy and it still might mess with us. So what can we do to kind of get ourselves energized and to boost that energy. Well, there are a lot of simple tips that you can do. The first one is make sure you're getting more quality sleep. So most people need anywhere between six and eight hours of sleep. But the key is to try to go to sleep the same time every single day, even on the weekends. So hard. That way your body's getting into a pattern. However, something that I like even more is to try to get a cool gadget like this one from Philips. This is a wake-up light. The light. So it gradually starts waking up 30 minutes before you set the alarm. A light starts emitting. It emits mix the sunlight so that way you're waking up a little bit more energized, you're waking up in a better mood, and you're waking up more calmly. Yeah, it's 625 on the East Coast right now. People are getting up and it's blackouts, it's pitch black outside. Right. So that would definitely be helpful. Yes, because it mimics the sun, exactly. And those little sleep things are... That helps you get to sleep because that keeps out the light, obviously. You also say don't skip breakfast. I mean, we always know breakfast is like the key meal of the day, but why would that help us with energy? Well, it absolutely helps... If you do it 90 minutes within you within waking up, that is the key because it revs up your metabolism and your energy, but you have to make the right choices. So don't have your muffins or anything like donuts, mm -hmm. but do try to have a combination of protein, so that's eggs, cottage cheese, and complex carbohydrates like your oatmeals and your whole grains. Delicious. Seek out sunshine. Yes. So again, in the winter months, a lot of us are not seeing a lot of light. So if it is a sunny day, leave work for like about 10 minutes and try to catch some sun rays. If there is no sun, at least go for a brisk walk. And you want to do this between 12 and 2 because that's when your body temperature naturally dips, making your your body feel tired because you think you're ready, ready to sleep. So when you do it then, you're energized. I've heard green tea is good for energy and I'm sure you have too because that's why it's here. Exactly. It's great for energy. It has a little bit less caffeine than coffee. So in the middle of the day, like your 3 p.m. slump, I would choose this versus coffee because then it's not going to disrupt your sleep later that evening. What's the story with perfume? Smell something nice, you say? Yes. I mean, I think it's a great way to boost your energy because it reminds you of happy thoughts. If perfume's a little too intense for you, you can also use things like essential oils like lavender, citrus oils. Again, it's elevating your mood, getting you pumped up. Watch something funny. Yes. So again, if, Start you're, laughing. if you're at work, when you laugh, it elevates your heart rate and your blood pressure, and that jolts your body into energy, you know, feeling like you're ready to go. Well, I work with these two, so that's <laughs> so you're energized I'm set. all the time. And finally, drink water before you get thirsty. Explain exactly. That. A lot of people, you know, they wait until they're, they're thirsty to drink water, but a lot of times you're that's dehydrated. too late. You know, that means that you're fatigued. It might affect your mood. It might make you grumpy, dizzy, headaches. So make sure you're drinking something every 15 minutes or so a week keep it by your desk. Thank you so much for joining Thank us today. You. Are you feeling energized? I am now, yeah. Well, are you guys feeling energized? Everybody, every, oh, they're going crazy. You should see them running around the studio. Thank you, Bahar. Thank you. All right.